everyone, it is Toby here, and as you can see from behind me, the wall is plain, there's nothing here, and it is because it is time to say goodbye to the home gym. Not the home gym entirely, just this iteration of the bedroom gym. The bedroom gym is becoming a thing of the past. I am moving out tomorrow, I am leaving this lovely bedroom behind, so I thought I'd do a bit of a final video, a final send-off, little quick tour of the bedroom gym before and then after when we move back in the garage gym the full collection a bit of a home gym update so be titled something like ultimate home gym update or something like that but it is really a way to say goodbye to this iteration of the bedroom gym so this gym has seen many a thing happen in it this is where i trained for my first ever strongman comp this is where i pulled my last two deadlift prs and yeah, just a lot of training over the last year has been done here. As you can see, you can see me in the mirror there looking pr pretty large. But this is the action station. This is where I do all of my editing and stuff like that. Okay, keyboard's upside down because I spilt a drink on it. But this is the setup. This is where we, where we do all the editing, all that stuff. Bit of Lego. Got to love a bit of Lego. And then we spin around and we've got the gym. We have got the mirror fit squat rack, which I've done a review on. We have got the log, the bar, a tire to whack the log on, bench, some plates, the bedside table slash keg with plates on it. You know, the bed with all my clothes and stuff that I'm packing. More plates and then a hammer, some dumbbells and a chain in the corner. Shelf with some chalk and some other random stuff on that I'm still packing. And yeah, that is basically the bedroom gym as it is. The only reason why there's still some of this stuff here and not packed away yet is because I'm about to do my final session in it, uh, which I will not be showing you guys. I'm just gonna get it done. And then we will jump back with the full bed, uh, full home gym back in the garage at home. I just wanted to say goodbye to the bedroom gym. This is where we've trained for the, for the last year or so. You guys have seen many videos from here. It's the end of an era. Let's jump back to the garage gym. Okay, so we are back in the garage gym now, moved back from Cardiff. This is actually the second time I've recorded this. That's why this video has taken a long time to come out. It's because moving's been hard. Coming back to Cardiff's, uh, not coming, coming back from Cardiff's been hard. And the first time I recorded this when I first moved back in, the audio messed up. So let's hope that doesn't happen this time. But we are back with a full updated garage gym tour. So we will start from the entrance and work our way round and you will see what we have going on in here so first things first we have got a sledgehammer that is held together with tape and my very first log which i don't know if you can see down there is actually carved out it is only 20 kilo but it is what i used to learn the technique before i moved on to this big boy which we'll come to later made that myself took me a good few days uh, to carve it out using a chisel some sandpaper a saw, you know, that, that jazz, and it works. It works really well uh, for learning how to do the log press technique before, you know, going ahead and buying a big one. So very happy with that. But yeah, first things first, we have got this punching bag here. This I don't use all that much, but if I want to do some cardio, I will usually use the punching bag because it's good fun. Uh, and then over here, of course, we have got the mirror fit squat rack, which has got uh, a roof panel taken out so I can do pull-ups. This is what I use for everything. This is one of my best purchases. I use this for literally everything. It's really super sturdy. I've done a review of that on the channel. And then we have got my mirror fit barbell to accompany it. Again, I use this for literally everything. It is my favorite bit of equipment. Without it, I don't know what I'd do. And of course, we've got some safeties on the, on the squat rack. We have got my bench, literally just a cheap 50 quid Amazon bench that I use. Probably need to get a better one. I don't know what the weight capacity is on it, but we're just gonna ignore that and keep going. Um, we've got my 100 kilo mirror fit sandbag, which I bought to train for Cardiff's Strongest Man as they had a sandbag medley. Very, very useful bit of kit that I use all the time for strongman events uh, and also stopping the bench from sliding backwards while I'm doing bench, but really good piece of kit. It is a bit of a lump, so difficult to, <laughs> to move between gyms. So glad that I'm now back in this garage gym. Over here, we've got a big, 110 kilo truck tire that I found on the side of a road about 10 minutes from my house. So yeah, very, very good, very heavy. 
not quite uh, light enough for me to carry on a shoulder in a loading medley or something, but I use it for arm over arm pulls, uh, smack it with the hammer, some flips, but it's a bit light for flips. So yeah, it's a good bit of kit that I found obviously for absolutely free. And then down here we also have my farmer's walk handles and this uh, pull up dip station leg raise combo. I don't use this for pull ups all that much. Now I've got this bar uh, on the squat rack, but I do use it for dips and leg raises all the time. So a very, very good bit of kit. And then behind there, we've got my homemade axle bar made out of a bit of scaffolding. And again, a video of how I made that is on the channel already, but really good piece of kit. I love training axle. It's one of my favorite overhead events to do. Then down here, we've got a bit more of my random stuff. So we've got this cushion that I found on the side of a road in Cardiff that I use for chucking the stone on uh, and also my uh, lifting blocks that I made for 15 inch deadlifts again very very just simple free piece of kit out of stuff I already had a lot of this stuff you'll see is very budget very like cheap very free stuff and of course the 60 kilo atlas stone that I got second hand off of Facebook marketplace 60 kilos is a bit light now but at the time it was a very good starting weight for me to train the movement I can now overhead press it so uh, I might need a heavier one than that. Then we've got all my dumbbell stuff here. Mix of my brothers and my dumbbell uh, equipment. A couple loadable dumbbell handles, load of smaller plates. Use them fairly often. And then we've got my DIY Atlas Stone platform made out of uh, two bedside tables that I usually just use for storing my stuff. And then we've got all of my plates and my lifting shoes, but all of my plates, uh, just a load of random mix match. Uh, plates, not calibrates or anything like that, well, far too expensive. Any like second hand cheap plates I can get, I will get. So they are all just laid out everywhere for me to use. Uh, and then over here we got the original uh, Body Max bench that I used to use. Um, it is way too thin for me to actually bench in now. Uh, my hands don't really fit properly. Uh, and for squatting and stuff, it is just not ideal at all. Way too thin for squats and just not very sturdy. So. That is why the squat rack came into effect, but very, very good for some uh, bar storage. As you can see, we have got my trap bar, my mirror fit trap bar there, uh, supported very nicely. And my old barbell that's very rusty. And every time I do more than a single on deadlifts, it falls apart and the end comes off. So not a brilliant bar to use. Then we've got all my gym bag and gym stuff uh, on there. And we've also got the um, preacher curl, leg raise, not leg raise, preacher curl, hamstring curl, and leg extension bits on the end that I do use sometimes, not too often though. And then down here we've got this tire that's an old tire swing uh, that I use for chucking the log on when I'm doing log. Then behind there, I don't know if you can see very easily, we've got my loading pins just there um, and my mirror fit row attachments as well, my Viking press attachment and my landmine down there, another tire swing. Uh, my battle ropes and some lifting chains. Just a load of random accessories and things that I use rarely but occasionally. And then down here we have got my um, we have got my log, my Rebel Strength log, of course. Uh, one of my favourite bits of equipment. I love using the log. It is a big 13-inch fat boy, 52 kilo empty. And I want to press 100 on that very, very soon. That's what I'm training for. Then, of course, an easy bar curl just behind there and a treadmill, which, as you can see, gets a lot of use by all of us. Definitely isn't just collecting dust and use for storage. Definitely not. We use it all the time. And then to finish it off, we have got the keg, the 75 kilo keg full of sand that I definitely promise I didn't nick while drunk from a bar. I promise you I got it through uh, strictly, strictly uh, safe and legal means. Definitely haven't just uh, robbed that from somewhere, but it is a good bit of equipment that, again, I got very cheaply. Hint, hint. Anyway, up there, the final bit is a load of my old stuff. So the old five-foot barbell that I used to use in my tiny bedroom gym in the house before the last bedroom gym. That is a throwback, and then a load of other random collars and old dumbbell stuff. But that is essentially the home gym, the garage gym, my full equipment collection a bit of an update for you guys i hope you did enjoy and i'll jump to an outro so that is that that is the end of the bedroom gym in cardiff we are back now training in the garage gym for a few weeks 
Uh, I know you guys love it when I train in here. The videos seem to do very well when I've got this bigger space because I can make more videos of a higher quality as well. So very, very glad to be back here. Uh, yeah, I'm back here for a couple months until I can find somewhere else to live. Obviously, this is my parents' garage. I don't want to live here for eternity. So and that being that, I hope you enjoyed the updated gym tour uh, and the moving out and saying goodbye to the home gym. A bit of a shorter video for this week, but we will jump straight back into the training videos uh, during this week. So without further ado, I've been Toby. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below what you want to see. And of course, if you made it this far without subscribing, what is wrong with you? Hit that button and I will see you guys in a future video. Goodbye.